Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one. What's the weirdest color you've heard someone mention? Nigerians and Africans are very colorful people. You see it in their outfits, you see it in their music video. Some of them go as far as selecting complex colors for their wedding. You hear stuff like cockroach brown, pepper red, tomato orange, um, onion purple. I mean, weird names, weird names of colors. We combine colors every day in our outfit styling, our sofa selection, and even our facial makeup. Sometimes the makeup is successful, looking all glammed up and elegant. Some other times you're looking just meh. It's a complete mess. In one of my videos, I explained color psychology and color selection. You should check that video out. Colors determine the mood of a space. It determines how we feel in a particular space. The first step to combining colors like a pro is by selecting a color scheme. A color scheme is a careful selection and combination of colors to create an aesthetically pleasing space. It's usually easier to select a single color, but selecting a combination of color is usually not so easy to pull off. We select colors based on feelings and needs. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to combine colors like a pro. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chika. As usual, I'm your personal interior designer, bringing you tips to help improve your personal space. You must have learned about color basics, but if you haven't, you need to know that there are primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. Primary colors are natural colors that cannot be gotten by combining any other colors. And these are blue, red, and yellow. Green, orange, and purple are secondary colors, and they are obtained by mixing primary colors. Whilst tertiary colors are obtained by mixing both primary and secondary colors. Now, there are six ways to combine any colors you love to create an amazing and beautiful space. Trust me, you can never go wrong with any of this. Just so you know, I'll be referring to the color wheel a lot in this video. So come along with me and take the ride. Number one on the list is monochromatic color skin. I'm sure you've heard me mention this a lot of times in my videos. And this is the simplest and easiest color scheme to take on. It's basically selecting a particular color and using the tint, shade, and tone of the same color in the same space. So a tint is when you add white to the color, a shade is when you add dark to the color, and a tone is when you add a little bit of gray to the color to make it less vibrant. The monochromatic scheme creates unity and makes your space cohesive. It works best when you add patterns and textures to your design. Second on the list is complementary color scheme. I'm sure you've heard opposite attract, right? This combination involves selecting only two colors in the color wheel. That's selecting colors opposite each other on the color wheel. So the first thing to do is to select the color you want. And then you select the color opposite it. The colors can be spread equally in the same space or you can select one as a dominant and the other as an absence. You need to be careful when combining this because of the contrasting nature of the skin. This is kind of easy. It's something we consciously or unconsciously do every day. Third on the list is analogous color scheme. Here, we select three colors that follow each other on the color wheel. And because of the closeness, they are likely to look alike and flow seamlessly. It is best not to spread these colors evenly. Select the primary color and make an accent of the other colors. You need to incorporate the 60, 30, and 10 rule in this design. The 60% of the room should be the dominant color. The 30% should be a secondary color or texture. And the 10% should be an accent. The fourth on the list is triadic color scheme. This color scheme involves three colors that are equally spaced from each other on the color wheel. This selection provides a strong contrast. And at first thought, it may look unlikely to work. But when you put it together and actually design with it, it will come out popular. Number five on the list is split complementary color scheme. Split complementary is a variation of the complementary color scheme. But instead of using two colors, this split complementary is a mixture of three colors. Here, you select a primary color and two other colors. Combine it with the two colors that sit directly adjacent to its complementary color without choosing the complementary color itself. This is a heavily contrasted scheme and you will need some confidence to pull this off. If you have tried it before, I would like to know how it went. 
And number six is the Tradi color scheme. This is the most contrasting color scheme you will ever encounter. And it involves two sets of complementary colors. It is also called a rectangle selection because of the kind of shape it forms on the color wheel. If not properly mixed, this scheme can be chaotic, especially when it's equally applied. To be safe with this color scheme, choose a dominant and let the other colors act as accents. The knowledge of this will make you aware of colors around you and even make you appreciate colors more. So guys, I therefore release you to begin to skin. Not in a bad way though. Thank you in particular for consistently watching my videos. But I know this if you haven't subscribed. So please click the red subscribe button down there and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my amazing videos. So please like, comment, and share this video if you loved it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.